and Roly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Whoa! Oh no! Oh, oh! Whoa! Help! What? What's the matter, Dizzy? Oh, <laughs> it's you, Bob. I, I thought that corrugated iron was walking by itself. <sighs> I wish it would. It's heavy. What's it for, Bob? Mrs Percival's asked us to build a bike shed while the school is closed for the half-term holidays. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, bike shed. That sounds That's good. Great. Morning, Bob. Hello there, Farmer Pickles. I've uh, got a job for you, Bob. Righto. What needs doing? It's um something for Scruffy here. See, when I'm out in the fields, I can't keep an eye on this young scamp, and next thing you know, he's off chasing rabbits and barking at sheep. So, I need you to build a dog run with a kennel somewhere for him to run around when he's on his own. <laughs> and to keep him out of trouble. <laughs> Scruffy, now, heel boy. <laughs> Scruffy, you naughty dog. Heel boy, sit. That's better. Now, go on, boy. Back in Travis's trailer. So, the sooner you can start, the better. I'll get onto it right away, Farmer Pickles. Oh, thanks, Bob. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Hello? Wendy here. Oh, oh, it's not my phone. Uh, oh, oh, where is it? Oh, um, here it is. I think. Hello? Farmer Pickles? This isn't Farmer Pickles. <laughs> uh, he must have lost his phone. It's Wendy here. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, I, I wanted to remind Farmer Pickles about the guinea pigs. Guinea pigs? Yes, I asked him to look after the school guinea pigs for the half-term holiday. Um, he was going to pick them up today. Don't worry, Mrs Percival. I, I'll remind him for you. No, thank you, Wendy. Bye. Oh, I'd better call Bob. <laughs> Ready with the concrete, Dizzy? Ready, Bob! Oh, there's no answer. Bob must have forgotten to turn his mobile phone on again. School? Yes, Wendy? Could you go and give Farmer Pickles a message? No prob, Wendy. Remind him the guinea pigs are arriving today. OK, Wendy. Uh, oh, and Scoob? Yeah? Could you give him his phone, too, and tell Bob to turn his on? Right, you two. Time we got going. Uh, Farmer Pickles, guinea pigs, give him his phone, turn Bob's phone on. Uh, Farmer Pickles, guinea pigs. Phew! Thirsty work, this. Time for a cup of tea. And a sandwich. Bob, is there anything else you want doing? Hello? What was that? Um... It was my sandwiches. No, Bob. Sandwiches would make a squishier sound. That was more like a... Sandwich box? Yeah, that's it. More like a sandwich bowl. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> Bob. Not to worry, Roly. Accidents can happen. Cheese and pickle, too. Very thin cheese and pickle. Oh, well. Uh, 
Farmer Pickles, guinea pigs, give him his phone, turn Bob's phone on. Farmer Pickles, guinea pigs, give him his phone, turn Bob's phone on. Hello, school. Sorry, Spud, can't stop. On an important job. Oh, what's that? Message for Farmer Pickles and his mobile phone. Hang on a minute. Wow. Maybe you could give him the phone and pass on the message. Spud's on the job, Scoop. Thanks, Spud. Here. Oh, a mobile phone. Oh, nearly forgot. The message. Mm -hmm. Remind Farmer Pickles that the guinea pigs are arriving today. And tell Bob to turn his mobile on. Got that? Yes. Uh, I wonder who I can ring. That's it, Lofty. Steady as she goes. Hi, everyone. I passed the messages on, Wendy, and the phone. Oh, thanks, Scoop. Yes, yes, Mr Mayor. That's right. I'm in charge of the town now. You can call me Mayor Spud. My first job... Spud? What? Uh, oh, uh, oh uh, hello, Travis. Is that Farmer Pickle's mobile phone? What? Oh, where did that come from? He's been looking everywhere for it. How did you get it? Um, Scoop gave it to me. Farmer Pickles left it at Bob's yard. Well, perhaps you'd better let me take it to him. Can you give him the message, too? Message? What message? Um, <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, there's a load of mini pigs arriving today. Mini? Pigs? What are they? Um, spec they're like ordinary pigs, only a bit smaller. <laughs> Maybe. Right, oh, Spud, if you say so. Oh, oh yeah. thanks, Bob. Scrufty's new run looks very smart. <laughs> well, Scrufty, what do you say? <laughs> 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 I think he likes it. Farmer Pickles! Farmer Pickles! I found your mobile. Oh, good. Well done, Travis. And I've got a message, too. The little pigs will be arriving later today. Pigs? What pigs? Well, that's the message. They're arriving today. Oh, funny. I don't remember ordering any pigs. <laughs> Where am I going to keep them? You could put them in here until I've built you a proper pigsty. Mind you, I don't think Scrofty looks very happy about it. Oh, you've done a splendid job, Wendy. Oh, thanks, Mrs Percival. Come on, you lot. Let's go up to Farmer Pickles and see how the others are getting on. Oh, Wendy, could you take the guinea pigs over too? Oh, of course we could. Come on, Scruffy. I don't think he wants to share his new home with a load of pigs. Maybe he'll come out for a flat sandwich. Here, Scruffy. Scruffy. Mm, yes, I suppose you're right. It doesn't look very tasty. Hi, Bob. It, oh, what's going on? Well, I've finished the dog run. But Farmer Pickles needs it for some pigs that are arriving today and Scruffy won't get out and... Not pigs, Bob! Guinea pigs! <laughs> <laughs> of course! I told Mrs Percival I'd look after them. So why did I think I was getting proper pigs? Well, that's what Spud told me. Spud! I should have known he wasn't listening when I gave him that message. <laughs> And I bet no one told you to turn your mobile on, did they, Bob? Oh, whoops! Forgot again! <laughs> oh, dear! <laughs> well, they seem to have taken to Scruffy. And I think he likes them too. Oh, don't worry, Scruffy! It was me! Oink, 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 oink! 